Hello and welcome. Uh, here with me Ziad Snusi, and now we need to see some uh, see and discussing some concepts in controllability and observability of uh, some systems. If we have uh, a control system like now, we have here an input U, as you can see here. We have this input here, and we have an output here, and we have three states. How we know? We have three states because because we have three integrators here. So we have here x1, x1, and x2, and x3, and this is will be x1 dot and x2 dot and x2 dot and this x3 dot. Okay, because we have here an integrator. So when we integrate this one, we get the states itself. Okay, so x3. We know uh, the controllability controllability sorry about my spelling controllability or whatsoever okay if uh, the controllability uh, roughly speaking it's the effect of this control input to this to all these states to all these states or the, the derivative of the states okay this is the controllability so if you have some effect some or a huge effect, I mean, or a small effect uh, on all the states. So we have here the system is controllable because you has effect of all these states. If any link from this to this, or this to this, or this to this is equal to zero, for example, if this equal to zero, that that means that this link is not existing. So the system is not controllable in this case. Okay, uh, because we have this form. We call this. Uh, you can say you can see it's um, a parallel form, or we say it in, in in the control system is diagonal form. We can put all these states in diagonal form. I mean by diagonal form. Uh, for example, um, if we have here, if, if we need to write the state space form for this problem, we have here x1 dot, x2 dot, x3 dot. Okay. We have here x1, x2, x3 plus the input matrix here times u. Okay, so we have here x1 dot will be equal to minus a1 times x1, so it's minus a1 times x1, and there's no effect, uh, it's only minus a1 times x1 and 1 times u, and 1 times u, and all these are zeros. Okay, x2 is the same, it's equal to this two, uh, equal to x2 dot equal to minus a2 x2. So here we have minus a2, and we have only one, two, okay? Uh, this zero and this zero. And this one, the final one, is the same. So x3 dot will be equal minus a3 times x3, x3, a3, and all these are zeros. And we have here one because we have here, so we have this one, okay? So I mean by diagonal form, we have this a is diagonal matrix, okay? Okay, as I said, the controllability is the effect of input of all these states. If this matrix here, B, if it has any of its element equal to zero, that means this system is not controllable. If it is like now, it's one or any value uh, rather than one, just not equal to zero, this means the system is controllable. Okay, so if we have this system, like now, we can write in state space form, it's diagonal matrix here. So from inspection, we can say this system is controllable. Why it's controllable? Because all these are existing. It's one, one, one. If it's two, it's, it's the same thing. It's controllable. If, for example, this link is not existing, it's not existing, okay? Uh, <clears throat> If we have this link is not existing at all here, okay, so we can say this system is not controllable, okay. It's the same for observability. If we talk a little about observability, 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 it's very important uh, properties, this too this one this in modern control systems so observability 
observability how what, how these states are observing in y how y is observing these states if any of these case is not uh, it's equal to zero that means the system is not observable if k it's equal to any number rather than zero it's not equal to zero so it's the system is observable in this one let me write the c matrix here the out matrix so it's equal to one k2 k3 x1 x2 x3 so we have we have no direct connection from u to y so of course d matrix is zero okay so if any of these cases equal to zero that means the system is not observable if all these cases is equal to some numbers that means the system is observable why it's observable because y is observing the states here it has some uh, some uh, some um, some you can say weights of these states okay and uh, this a special case of uh, state diagram you can uh, you can observe the, you can conclude the observability and uh, controllability from the inspection because it has a, a nice form here which is as I said you can write the state space and you find it it's uh, a, a diagonal form like now if it is diagonal form if, if matrix A is diagonal form so if you need to find the controllability observability just see this B matrix here or you see this C matrix here or from this uh, graph you can uh, conclude the observability and controllability if for example here if we don't have this link K2 let me delete it if we don't have this K2 is this system is controllable or observable uh, it's controllable yes because U has effect on this and all if you can see this B matrix is still 1 1 1 so it's controllable okay if it is observable or not no it's not observable now because we have k2 this equal to 0 we have k2 here it's equal to 0 this one is equal to 0 we don't have this link here so the system is not observable I hope the meaning is very clear for you and uh, I hope you find this video is uh, helpful for you and uh, if you have any questions regarding this problem please leave it in the comment section below and thank you for watching